Have a photo you want to cut out? Don't have Photoshop? No problem. How many times have you cursed not having Photoshop when you needed to play with an image? Particularly if it's late and you've got a deadline to meet. Well, curse no more. Get another cup of coffee and go to it with this cool trick. You can do some of what I'm going to show you here with the Set Transparent Color tool if you have a very simple image with a solid background. Or you can use the Remove Background tool, but I find it's a bit glitchy to be honest. Often leaves a very blurry edge and usually is a bit more trouble than it's worth. But this is pretty good and clear every time. Get your image and trace around the part of the image you want to crop with the Freeform Shape tool. Click for each point rather than holding down your mouse button to have more control over the tracing. In PowerPoint 2013 or later, at this point, you can use the Boolean tool's Shape Intersect to cut out the image, and you're done. Magic! If you have an older version of PowerPoint, you've got a little bit more to do. Crop the image to the outer edge of the freeform trace. It's really important to get it lined up precisely. In PowerPoint 2010, use the Alt key to snap the cropped picture to the freeform trace. In PowerPoint 2007, this should happen automatically. Once you've cropped it, copy the picture using Ctrl and C. Now, get rid of the photo and right click on the outline shape you've drawn. Choose Format Shape, then Picture Fill, and then Insert from Clipboard. Because you copied the picture earlier, it's now in the clipboard and so will fill the shape that you've drawn. And because you matched up the sizes perfectly, the only part of the image that's shown is what was covered by the freeform shape. And one final tip, if you've cropped an image that's not got sharp edges, then you can use the soft edges formatting tool to remove any harsh lines.